All right, hey, it's Nate, and here is a how-to video on how to configure your IVMS 4500 app on either your Android, which this is um, based, this is strictly Android right here, but I'm sure it's very similar for the iPhone. Um, so what you're going to want to do is open up the app. You should already have it downloaded. Just go to um, your Play Store or your um, iPhone Store and type in IVMS 4500 and download the software. All right, next thing you want to do is open it up, and you're going to go to the menu bar or menu button, and then click Devices, and there should be an Add Device or some type of plus sign. Um, this Again, this is Android, so I'm going to hit Plus, Manual Adding. You're going to want to give it a name. Okay, type in the address. So register mode is IP, that's correct. Type in the address. Port number is good. Username and password. Okay, and then there should be some type of save um, for the Android again. It's right there. And that's it. So it shows the amount of cameras. That means it knows that it's connected. It means it's talking. It knows how many cameras there are. And then you can just click start live view. Okay, so if I were to log out and then open it back up, it's going to start where it left off essentially, um, and you can you can just swipe through the different cameras, or you can um, do multiple views. Okay. Um, if you want to, I don't recommend doing remote playback on here because it is going to download to your phone and the videos could be uh, fairly big, but you could do um, playback. Uh, you can also zoom. So, for example, if we were on the front desk and I wanted to zoom, remember, do a large area. Oh, it's not going to let me do it with... Uh, with this app that I'm, with this program I'm using to, to video it, but uh, you could simply just kind of drag and and drag it an area, and it will zoom in on that area. Uh, playback, you're gonna want to. No. Oh, so I did. I just recorded that. Now it's gonna save. Confirm. Let's let's go back into here real quick. Oh, I know what I need to do. I just need to double click on it. Um, but you could do remote playback from here. Again, just Click one of the spots, put your time in, your date and time, to and when, hit back. First, you got to pick your camera, date and time, and then it will go back to the, the playback for it. So as you can see, this is 320. And all these little dots on here, those are uh, recorded events. Um, so pretty pretty basic. Just follow it step by step and uh, everything should be up and working.